Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. And what I want to talk about in this video is something to do with business. And it applies to, I think, life in general, just not business, my business, the close protection, investigation business, etc. Um, and it's keeping everybody happy. And a lot of people think if you go into business, your job is to keep everybody happy, to keep all your clients happy. Well, you know, you know what? You can keep some people happy. Your goal is to keep the majority of people happy, but you're never going to be able to keep everybody happy. It just doesn't happen. It's part of human nature. And I've seen people over the years, I've dealt with too many people, that, and I class it as a sign of inexperience in business, um, that go out of their way beyond to keep people happy, to keep clients happy, and the clients aren't worth it. They're not getting the return from the client. And this is back down to, you need to understand your clients are people. I've dealt with some people over the years. I remember one training job I did in Chicago, and I don't think the students wanted to be there. They were sent there by some organization. Um, the students wanted to be, didn't want to be there. They wanted to go out and eat, drink, party, etc. And it was a negative atmosphere from the start. We'd done the course, we were nice, we were polite, we left. But I would say from my perspective, it was a crap course because nobody was interested. Nobody wanted to be there. Could we have kept those people happy? No. So this is where when you're looking at your clientele, you need to assess, okay, can we deal with these people, especially in the close protection business? And I've said this in how many videos podcast, etc. It's a personal business. You have to work out whether you can work with those clients. Now, again, I have an issue when I'm looking at people and I've said this again in other videos, perfect people, people that seem to get along with everybody and they have no bad reviews, they have no enemies, they have nobody they've upset or fallen out with over the years. You know what? That says to me, you're an ass kisser. You're an ass kisser or you're covering something up. Because if you're a normal human being, you're going to have arguments with people. You're not going to see eye to eye with everybody. That's human nature. And you would have had, you would have run into problems with people. And this is where, from my perspective, and my perspectives are a little bit more different than most. I want people, well, I'd sooner deal with people that have had conflicts with others in the past, that's resolved those conflicts and progressed, rather than people that have had conflicts, well, have never claimed never to have had any conflicts with people, which mean they're just yes men, yes girls, and they just get on with things. They just toe the line and be good little slaves, to put it in uh, simple terms. Whereas if you're doing serious business and if you're serious about your business, you're going to be having conflicts with people because there's no way in hell you're going to see eye to eye with everybody. You can see eye to eye with people that are, how can I put it, of your similar mindset. And if you're dealing with clients, um, especially if you're going to potentially hostile environments, etc., you need to educate your clients so people understand and you still get conflicts because again, some people see themselves as being, how can I put it, higher up on the pecking level than you are, et cetera, et cetera. And that's down to your personal skills to be able to educate those people and deal with those people to say, look, okay, you might be paying the bills, but you've hired me for a reason. And if you listen, we can uh, come to an agreement here. I can keep you safe, I can get paid and you can go home. Um, so again, that's down to your personal skills. But again, I think this is where a lot of people waste a lot of time and effort trying to keep people happy, trying to keep clients happy that are not worth it. You need to be able to realize where, realize the good clients that will be working with you in the future, that will be coming back to you, not just running around kissing people's asses, um, hoping that they throw you a bone in the future. I have people say, well, they could write a bad review. You know what? If somebody's only got good reviews, there's a problem. And I think this is one of the problems today. Everybody's worried about getting the bad review, the bad social media, etc. You know what? You can have a complete and utter idiot 
turn up to your course or provide them with a service and that complete and utter idiot that knows nothing about the security business, close protection business, training business, etc., can write you a bad review. When I see bad reviews, if I'm looking at anything, I want to know the source of that review. And again, a lot of people writing bad reviews, we've had it big time. Uh, people writing bad reviews for us or people trying to discredit us online are competitors. I know a couple of them are. And some of them I've had to block on the risking social media on several platforms because all they do is when they're drunk, I take it right derogatory comments or stupid comments on our posts or they try to uh, put their links on our posts so that they're getting lots of attention. But again, that's business. That's the stuff you have to deal with these days. But again, you need to assess your clients, the people you're dealing with, and you need to understand that if you're providing a quality service, you need to stick to your guns and provide that quality service. And again, not being dissuaded or not diluting your services or diluting what you're doing because you're afraid to get a bad review, you're afraid to get bad social media, etc. You can always delete and block comments or you can defend yourself by putting your response to negative comments. But don't try to keep everybody happy because you never will. Everybody's different in this world. And don't go wasting your time, effort and money trying to keep idiots happy. Okay, in the meantime, follow me along on social media. We've got a lot more videos out there. Um, I have an array of books up on Amazon. We've got a lot of content up on the Risk Incorporated blog and my personal blog. Truth only has a few friends. Um, and also, don't forget, we supply a full range of training courses online and physical, and also a full array of close protection services, investigation services, and consultancy services. And we've got a lot more content coming up in the near future. So follow us along on social media. Reach out if you have any questions. And as always, in the meantime, be good, stay safe, stay out of trouble. And don't go wasting your time on idiots. You've got more important things to do. And you need to find the serious clients that fit in and agree with what you're doing.